Hello. Hello, my name is Soren. I come from France and I'm here as a student in Waseda University. Oh, I see. So you like Japanese foods? Yeah, sure. That's why I choose to go to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, nice to hear that. Okay, so let's check some good restaurants here. So how about here? Oyster. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> I never had the occasion to eat oysters usually. So. Do you yeah. often eat like oysters in France? We would eat that if you live close to the sea, I guess, or for New Year. Mm. It's a very common traditional dish, but otherwise not in your daily life. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't eat it also in the daily life. Oh yeah, let's here. get fancy then. <laughs> yeah, so you can compare. All right, let's go in. We have raw oysters and also different way of cooking, like mm. deep fried, mm. just grilled. Mm. Maybe there's a one set that you can have different styles yeah, together. Yeah, that's what I'm going to order. It says special oyster mm. that includes not only oysters but the mm. uh, moo, mm. uh, yeah. moo shell. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to eat with... the shrimp. I don't eat shrimp. You don't eat shrimp yeah. because of allergies? No, just because I don't like the taste. <laughs> okay, I don't usually go to that kind of places. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's like. I'd like to, but my wallet wouldn't. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, compromise. What part of France are you from? That's a difficult question. Which city? That's a difficult question. Because Why? I was born in a city, and then yeah. throughout my childhood, I moved to different cities. Oh. So, should I go with the answer on the city where I spent the most time living in, or the one I was born? The place where I grew up. So, the, the longest part. Longest part. Okay, so next to Paris. Next like to Paris. In the western region, mm. it's about 30 minutes by train. Yeah. From Tokyo standards, mm -hmm. it's, it's very close. Yeah. But since cities are a bit smaller in France, it's a different part. Oh. Most people live there and they go work in Paris. Oh, I see. It's yeah, just, just like Tokyo. Yeah, it's exactly Because I'm from Chiba Prefecture. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. even closer than Chiba. <laughs> <laughs> So let's try. Let's dig in. Yeah. How do you eat that? Chopsticks? What? Let me try first. Oh. My. My is big. But it's really good. It's really milky. I'm gonna try to cut it in half. See? Okay. Compared to the oyster I used to eat in mm -hmm. France, it's much softer. Yeah. Europe, I think, when you eat oyster, you taste the taste of the sea. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you see what I mean. Oh, like, yeah. um, it's a bit more salty. It's a bit like, you know, you can taste a bit of seawater. Yeah, yeah. In that, it's like very soft. The flavor is a bit more surprising, you know. It looks huge. <laughs> And also, maybe when you eat an oyster, mm. you drink white wine. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Every meal has the kind of wine that goes well with it, like to enhance the flavor of the food. Also, I don't know if you ever tried sake. Yeah. Sake also goes well with sauce. So yeah, maybe it has different flavors, yeah. but I don't know anything about sake. <laughs> maybe even like yeah. restaurants in France mm. is pretty expensive. I heard a lot from yeah. French yeah. restaurants. Yeah. Like French food, what is considered as French food uh, is actually high gastronomy. Yeah. We don't eat that yeah, yeah. in France. <laughs> I know. Only for but, maybe special days. Yeah. What is the average cost if you go to like a real French restaurant in France? Okay, I've been only once. Once? Only once. And it was for my graduation, undergrad graduation. Oh. And it was about, I think, for five people, tips included and tax included. It was about $1,300. Okay, so now the food arrived. Can you eat like a ikura? Sure. Yeah. Maybe it's better you hold up a plate yeah. because it's pretty really difficult to pick up. This white thing. This is carrot. Mm. 
It tasted was different than what I expected to. It tasted like a bit of acid, like citrus. Yeah, citrus. And also some herbs, Japanese mm. herbs. Mm. The fried ones. Fried ones. Oh, it tastes a bit of lemon. sauce. Oh, yeah. That is French. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eat that every day, <laughs> then I will probably not appreciate it as much. Uh, yeah, that's a while, it's good for you. Enjoy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I like to try this kind of food because you, you wouldn't really find them in France. Even like deep fried oyster. It's not common for French people. Yeah, you don't deep fry much. You don't deep fry, right? Usually you don't really deep fry things, so that's why I enjoy it in Japan, so like you can have different things. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 What, what is that? Is that salt? That, that part? It's... Mm. Okay. Mm. Plain. <laughs> mm. And the second one is pretty interesting. Sea urchin on top. Yeah, I love it. You love it? I love it. Oh, oh my god. I tried that for the first time in Japan. I fell in love with that. Like, oh. I went to Hokkaido in June. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, honey, you see, like, ah. oh my god, everything. <laughs> if I could, I could just like go straight back to Hokkaido <laughs> and have seafood every day. Yeah, the seafood there is so good. I remember I went to the market in the morning because, you know, you have to go in the, in the morning yep. so you have fresh product. And when I went with my boyfriend, we decided to have. Um, Honey for breakfast. Yeah. Ooh, I just had like a full crab for breakfast. Oh, really? And my parents were like, Are you crazy? <laughs> you don't eat that for breakfast, you know? <laughs> I was like, Nah, it's really good. Oh my god. Let me try this okay, one. See your chain. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so, third one. Oh, okay, very. It's miso. I love miso as well. I would say I love almost all of Japanese food at this point. <laughs> it, it's just so hard to choose. Like, if I had to go back to France now, I would miss it so much. At least in France, we don't really have this kind of fermented food. The only thing fermented we have is cheese. Cheese. Like, and wine. <laughs> it's a oh, different yeah. kind of fermentation. It's still fermentation. Yeah. Not the miso soup. It's not that it would be miso soup, but actually it's like <laughs> still oyster. It's like yeah. all kind of oyster. Yeah. It's a very simple taste. It's nice to, you know, have a break in between the flavor. Yeah. What's the reason why you decided to come to Japan? Mm. What was interesting for you? So when I was about 14 years old, I'd say, I discovered anime, like in France. Yeah. French Internet? TV. French TV. Well, this tell you how popular anime was. Yeah, anime was pretty big in France. You, have, you guys have like anime expo, Japan expo. Yeah, Japan expo and another one. 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. 